Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Niche Strategy and Tactics Episode 2. So, when we last left our intrepid Southpaw tribe, we've grown from our originally start original starting founder to nine. Nine members. Let's take a quick look at our family. Yeah, the bow. The bow being the uh, the the uh, sire here. We also have Shona here, but we also inv uh, invited Kosi to uh, to the party here. Kosi, Kosi doesn't bring some great genetics to the party, but what Kosi brings to the party is an ex is a new immunity gene. Immunity gene. F. Um, the more Im the more diverse pool of immunity genes you work with, the less of a chance that you're going to be forced into some risky inbreeding that could cause some sickly uh, babies um, down the generations. Um, now her uh, her her baby here did uh, did her baby get the F? Yes. Okay. So we have successfully passed uh, the the F immunity gene down to the next ge uh, generation here. Um, and actually, it's um, not too bad um, uh, genetics wise. Um, well, there's some flaws. Uh, they have um, a four rating of fertility. Although four out of six ain't bad. I'm not a fan of this hemophilia gene, which means they bleed like a mofo if they get uh, wounded. Um, Velvet Paws, okay. It's not bad, actually, especially given the copious amounts of grass in here. Um, and we got that cracker jaw and those big ears. So actually, you know what? Um, I think this might be... Um, worthy of another name in game person because this one this this uh this one right here to tariko they're going to be important to making sure we pass down that f uh gene and they're probably going to be part of uh well siring the next uh, generation in here so um let us give them a a name for another one of our name in game subscribers bart all right bart welcome welcome aboard uh, also, the other thing I'm going to do for for members who are going to be my intentional breeders or eventual breeders is I'm going to mark them as alphas. Um, the the default there's three different ratings here. There's alpha, beta, and omega. Uh, sort of like in, uh, in a, like a wolf pack. The alphas head of the pack. Betas are somewhere in the middle. The omegas are the bottom of the feeding chain. Um, and basically what, what I'm going to be doing here is the alphas, I'm going to mark those who, uh, um, who are important to the breeding part of this or eventual breeding as alphas so I can keep track of them. Uh, so if the bows of uh, an alpha, Shona is an alpha. Uh, we need a, we need to find an alpha female for the next, uh, for the next um, thing here. Now, Kosis. I think Kosis was... Alright, double runner leg. Meh. Yeah, Kosis was was fine, but not really alpha material. Mira is... We got runner leg plus a claw. I like I like that, that diverse thing. Plus, you got the cracker jaw. But missing those horns. We're... we're and we got the BC um, genes there. So, Mira for the moment is sort of a, 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 an alpha female. But um, we're going to be continuously breeding more in an attempt to... Uh, um, get those, uh, get those in here. All right. Now Shona just, uh, gave birth last turn. Uh, also notice we are at eight food. Um, and that's in red because we have nine, uh, tribe members. So at the moment we're going to be short on food. Now that being said, I'm going to make sure we, uh, uh, get up some food, uh, before the end of the turn. Uh, Shona needs to, well, actually, um, actually, yeah, the, the, her, just her baby needs to get out of there. So there you go. Um, I think the bow and Shona is a, a pr perfectly good mating pair here. Uh, so we will uh, have that go there and she can just sit there and continue with the baby making and also uh, plant harvesting here. We'll clear out some more of these just to expend her actions. Now let's fire up our sniffers. Now uh, here we got a we got a wabbit. 
Um, that's worth a little bit of meat here. Now, do you have enough strength to kill the wabbit? You do not. You need a two strength in order to one shot a rabbit. And if you don't one shot them, they could run away and escape. So having, uh, having Bart here, Bart might not be able to get the uh, job done. Now, Kosi here, uh, Kosi's got a, only one strength, but Kosi's rocking those venomous fangs. I don't know if that comes into play when, uh, uh, getting the wabbits. We might be able to tag team them too. Uh, Nuva nu Nuvano can can handle that. But let's see. You know what? Because I think if Bart comes here and takes a bite, we might be able to get a second bite off on that rabbit. Attack. Oh, it's still alive and he ran out of actions. So he's kind of got it pinned. Although I'm sure it'll move in, in the next round. There we go. The tag teaming. There we go. There we go. Some tasty vittles. Uh, let's fire up our sniffers. Ooh, double double tree here. What's your mm, your collecting's not so good. We got to find someone with a better collecting, like uh, you. Well, I was cramming um, some poison down your throat. Um, but let's see if we can go down here. Yeah, triple berry bush here. Not bad. All right, maybe you'll be useful. Uh, and Michael. Oh, right. Michael is our uh, is our next breeding alpha as well. Now, unfortunately, we got two breeding alphas here. Oh, two male alphas. Uh, so we need a we need a ooh. Triple, triple berry bush in a very accessible location. Although I have a feeling that's poison. Um, we should get our poison fang uh, member up there to go nosh on those. Michael, on the other hand. Oh, dang it. I didn't. Uh, sorry, Michael. Didn't mean to poison you there. Instead, we have your cracker chow. All right. Well, it, it knocks a few days off his life, um, but um, it's not going to instantly slay him. And if there's a healing bush around here, we might be able to cure that poison. There's that thing, but that's not the healing bush. We harvested from it before. Oh, Mira, what do you got? Oh, yeah, you got the, uh, the Cracker Jaw thing, too. I think I was having you sweep for clams along the coastline here. Oh, we got more berries here. Hmm, double-barreled berries here. Well, you know what I could have you do is just... Oh, those are poison berries. Jeez, these are all poison. We're gonna need to get in on that uh, to, to help our tribe evolve. Um, I mean, the poison fangs are all well and good, but they're difficult to uh, um, pass on because they're very, they're recessive prone. Um, so I can't necessarily guarantee myself uh, that they will be there uh, in the future. Um, all right, well, we got enough food. We can pass. Oh, hang on. We still got someone with some actions. Let's harvest up some. Pl oh, there's there's our healing plant. But I think by the time it re respawns fruit here, uh, it might. Uh, the poison will have class. Yep, there's the poison damage. What that cost him? Two days. It's probably going to take another two days off. Dang it. That was that was that was foolish of me, and I apologize, Michael. But we'll crack up on some nuts. Maybe clear the system. Uh, someone got a leech. You got, a, of course, you got a leech. Of course, you got a leech. That's the that's the danger to chilling way out in the boonies uh, by yourself. Is there's no one to take this leech off of my uh, off of uh, Mira here. That's normal berry bush. That's toxic berry bush. But I don't want a leech sucking her dry. Um, I 
All right, uh, Nutella or Nuku Nuku Nutella. I can read. Let's get you out of the way here. Uh, Kosi. Oh, here's a little technique. So Kosi can normally can run four spaces, but as you can see here, Kosi um, Kosi can't move up four spaces because there's this line of darkness where she can't see and you can't move through. Now she's only got uh, uh, she's short short sighted, um, meaning that she can't really see very far. Um, so, but what you can do is you can, um, you can provide eyesight for your pack members so that they can actually use their movement skills further. So we're going to move Shona down here. That's going to enable eyesight down here. Um, we still have, oh, the rock. Hmm. Bart, no, I don't want Bart to take the damage. Um... All right, Nuka Cola. Nah, I don't want the bow to take a, a hit either. I don't want either of these guys to take hits. I don't want Kosi to take a hit. So there's somebody here that we can have take a hit to uh, get rid of this these thorns because you can't get rid of the rock, and I, I don't want to get rid of the berry bush. All right, Nuvanku could take a hit. Yeah, it's going to do some damage to clear that away. But now, Kosi can um, move up uh, with much greater speed. Now, if we turn on our sniffer, where was that triple plant? There's a triple plant up here somewhere. There's the triple plant. So Kosi can make her way up here. And, oh, uh, that is one thorn, but it gives us access to triple plants here. Hmm. Well, so, yeah, she's gonna have to take that. Ooh, that took a lot more damage than I thought it would. Man, she's only gonna get five days to be able to harvest these three. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no really clean way to get rid of those thorns. Uh, let's see who we got here. Uh, let's see. All right. Ooh, antlers. Not just ram horns. Antlers. Um, plus cracker jaw. Plus runner leg. Plus claw. AD. Maximum fertility. Jeebus, criminy. All these good males. We need some good females. But he's still uh, still worth uh, worthwhile here, and as such, um, let's uh, let's uh, let's fire up another name here. Kutavon. Daniel, from another one of my name in game subscribers here. Welcome to the pack, Daniel. All right. Oh uh, yeah, you're still poisoned. That's still toxic. That's been eaten by something? Is there something... Oops. Is there something around here eating the berries? The, the wabbit. The wabbit is eating the berries. Do you have, what's your attack? You have a two attack. You can smack the wabbit. Let's go smack the wabbit. We're eating the bowies. That... Oh. Or we could run out of action points. Dang it! Well, at least they, the rabbit didn't see him coming, so if the rabbit doesn't move again, we might still be in good shape. Yeah, you're poisoned, and you've got the leech. You're... Mary, you're... I don't know... Actually, you might... You might... You're not going to be too much long for this world, Mara, so I think you're just going to sit here and harvest... You're, yeah, you're not long for this world, but do what you can for the pack while you can. Uh, Bart might as well. Ooh. Is there, um, Shona cannot kill, uh, kill the bunny. Uh, Nuka-Cola can't kill the bunny. Hmm. 
sees tons of bunnies are coming out of the woodwork. It's like, quick, they, the tribe has low attack values. Come taunt them. Oop, and we lost, uh, we lost somebody there. All right, you're going to get down here. That's a regular berry bush. I'm hoping those are regular berry bushes. Let's get some more nesting material up. Oh, actually, we could come down here to the temporary nest to give birth. That works. Any any, any old any old port in the storm or in this case nest. All right, are you are you you're still poisoned? I can't believe it. It's still lingering. That is horrible. All right, well, we got the bunny. And we got some nuts. Michael, you might... Well, I'm hoping to, that you'll survive to a breeding age. There, there'll probably be a Michael II at some point uh, down the line. Because these guys are not quite long-lived enough. Uh, that and I feel really bad for making you eat that one poisonous berry once. Because you're not among our disposable uh, members here. So here we go. Toxic berry bush. And yet, yeah, Kosi's not poisoned by that. So she can nosh on toxic berries like no tomorrow. And Mira, like I said, not long for this world. All right. Oh, we got uh, one last use of that nest here. Ooh, this one. Uh, this one looks aggressive. What do we got here? Horns, big nose, runner leg plus claw. Not bad, and it's another male though. Ah, like I, I, I want these. I want, I want the. I like these good traits, but we need a good traits on a female. <laughs> we need a good uh, next generation female. Um, preferably one that. Aha! So those are poison berries over there. Let's pop over. Those are poison berries too. Uh, well, since I kind of resigned myself to. Um, you know, she's kind of disposable as well, unfortunately. Um, all, all of our females are coming out with, uh, with meh traits. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully this doesn't come to bite me in the butt. Um, oy. maybe Kosi needs to drop another, uh, another baby, um, you have enough? Uh... No, you don't. You don't. Okay. The bow has enough to smash a rabbit, though. Um... Hmm. Well, here, we'll get rid of, we'll break up this nest, because there's enough regular nests. Um... Bart... Bart can collect that. Now, hmm. F and D. And you've got... Alright, so yeah, you got that. C and D. You've got B and F. You know what? It might be worth it for the bow to pop in here. And... Make it a baby. Uh, see if we can get one last baby out of her. Um, we do need a bit more... All right, Shona can go. We need, we don't have enough material to make a nest, so we're gonna actually have, um, we're gonna have to have her pop over here to b give birth in this nest. And uh, Nivanu, Nivanu, yeah, I think I ruled Nivanu as disposable. Um, so he can go noshing berry bushes, or toxic berry bushes as well. Ooh, who's this? Hmm, 
Well, another male. Um, got the K immunity gene, so that's a new immunity gene. But the question is, do I want to invite him in? He's got a deformed paw, he's got the derp snout, he's got bad eyesight, no horns. Not really genetically a good subject here. So I think we'll leave him. I think we've. if it was a female, I'd probably invite her in. But it's not a female, it's a male. All right, are we done with the poison now? Thank you. Wow, six days of damage for eating one poison berry. That's awful. That's normal berry bush. Very good. Oh, rabbit. Splat. All right, Daniel. All right, show, well, hang on. First... You come up here, you eat those, and then go and give birth. Because I want to, I want her to pass along those, uh, those, those jaws, the, uh, the, the, the venomous fangs. If we can get another venomous fang baby out before she passes away, that would be ideal. Um... I do want uh, Shona to um, have another baby or two uh, before she um, gives birth, or uh, she passes on. Go here. I think, yeah. Uh, she has two actions so she can mate with one and hit the nest with another. No, not the bow, but I do want you to gather more nest material, if at all possible. You grab yourself one of those, get some nest material. And yeah, you're too, too young. Alright, Daniel, um, let's get you over... Where's the next near... Oh, the next nearest tree is way over there. Um, well, you can tag team it, because you can have guys shaking down trees. So let's get you over here, and actually you can gobble up that meat. And that's all your actions. Nivanu has already committed himself. So, thankfully you don't die faster with repeated poison consumption. Nuka-Cola... And since you're... Oh, you're already... You're, um... What is your berry collecting skill, anyway? Yeah, it's a two. That's just what... This one just hasn't been regrowing fast enough. Well, you know what I'll do here is... is since you're without poison for one level... Uh, we'll leave you there. You, on the other hand, are quickly approaching death, so we are just going to be harvesting as much as possible. You are just getting as much food for the tribe before you pass away. Sacrifices must be made. Wow, double-barreled again! Nice. Can we get some females? A female! Any good of a female? Let's see. Uh, medium ears, no horns, boo. Big nose, okay. Medium body, runner, double runner. Ah, uh, it's another meh female. Not categorically bad. And let me guess, the male's going to be awesome, right? Runner plus claw. Yeah, well, it's better than the female is anyway. Um, but at least we have a female. Uh, let's check the uh, singleton female we got here. Ooh! The, another female. Cracker jaw. Good. Big ears. Very good. Uh, runner leg, runner leg. All right, all right, but it's still not too bad. Uh, we didn't get the uh, we didn't get the the fangs, unfortunately. All right, here's what we're gonna do. You get here. And you're going to run here. Let's 
so you can get most of these. You are going to come here. Ooh! What's your attack? Hey, Mira! More food! And for once, something that isn't going to poison you to death. All right, Shona, you uh, you're you are pr quite prolific, girl. Um, now is there any other males that would be worthwhile to mate with Shona? Again, we want to keep an eye on those on those immunity genes. So anyone with an A or a B, we want to avoid. The A D, B D, um, F D. Oh, F D. Bart. F and a D. A and a B. She can mate with Bart. Now, the problem is, though, Bart does not have any horns. She does not have any horns. We have no chance of getting horns. We want horns. Um. Velvet Paw plus Runner Leg. I'm not sure I like the Velvet Paw quite enough for that, though. I think I might come come running all the way up here just to get uh, get her groove on with the bow here. All right, getting those nuts and the non-toxic berry bush, and you can shake that tree and crack those nuts. Boy, this guy's just sitting on this nest like somebody, please mate with me, even though I'm a male. But no, you're not... I mean, he's not a rogue male, so he's not going to forcibly try and impregnate our females. So I'm not going to waste turns attacking him. But it's still. Let's actually, let's go to the other side of the tree. That might be a better idea. Huh, I wonder if eating the healing plant will take some of the damage off of him. I'm going to try it. It's worth it, because I don't want Michael to expire. Um, yeah, you can clear the reeds away from here. Waste not, want not on those actions and what have you. Ooh, I see a wabbit. Oh, wait, no, that's not a wabbit. That's a, that's a creature. Now, there is a, a method to my madness, to all this self-poisoning that I've been doing here. Let me show you. You know, remember how I said last episode that a lot of the really good traits are locked. They're locked behind specific requirements, sort of like an achievement list, but um, with unlockables, you know, like actual in-game viable, functional, improving things for you, unlockables. Um, now, one of the things we unlocked here was the nimble fingers paw type, which I actually I'm a big fan of if we weren't already rocking the Cracker Jaws. Um, the crack, the Nimble Fingers is good, but the Cracker Jaw already gives us cracking ability, um, and we don't necessarily need both. Um, I do see that we've un we just unlocked something else. Let me see if I can find that other thing that we just unlocked. Or maybe this was the thing that we just unlocked. Yeah, it might be. But hidden elsewhere here... Um, is the toxic body. This, this toxic body is useful in a number of ways. I'm a big fan of it and it really looks cool. Um, so that's kind of my reason for performing collect on toxic berry bush, even though it's poisonous to most of my tribe here. Now, if we can get, uh, if we can get uh, Kosi here to uh, give birth to one more, um, one more uh, Fangs uh, baby before she passes away, then we can keep it up, uh, keep up this triple harvesting of these bushes. Because this is going to be huge right here. This spot right here, having something that is immune to poison would be ideal. Now, that being said, um, if we don't have anything that ever, anyone's immune to poison, I'll probably find, put a, pick a sacrificial lamb up here to just uh, gorge themselves uh, until their kidneys explode. Um, right then, you, well, you're still clean, so I'm not going to sacrificial lamb you. And you, am 
might as well. And Bart! Hmm. Part of me wants to have you go along the coast, but I don't want you to be by yourself because then you're all going to get attacked by a leech. And I do not want you to be a sacrificial lamb. Uh, so at least for the time being, you're just going to harvest nest material for us. Is that everybody? I think so. Ah, good rain. And she still manages to be alive, barely. Oh, poor thing. All right, she's expiring next turn. I'm sorry. Ooh. Well, hi there. Uh, Kosi. All right, well, you... Hang on, Some someone's got to pounce on that... Uh... Hmm, who can pounce? Who's got a good good enough fight? You've got a... Uh, Michael's got enough. Well, Michael needs to hit the healing thing here. Uh, Daniel! Daniel can do some damage. Uh, once he gets there. Uh, ooh, Nuvanu can do some damage. There we go. All right, Michael, let's get you here. It, hey, it, it took off all that damage. Excellent. Oh, that's wonderful. I am so glad we have that in our backyard. Worth the action point. And no, I'm not going to have him eat another poison berry. I've learned my lesson. I might have someone with a high attack, uh, uh, destroy this poison berry bush. Then again, it's a berry bush. We kind of want it around. All right. Uh, time for the bow to uh, get his... Oh! He blew an action point. Uh, her fertility's not top-notch. Ooh! Okay, phew! Got it on the third one. All right, you... Spend an action, you spend an action, and then get your butt back there so you can give some birth. And... Oh, she's already pregnant. Excellent. Well, then, we can get the get the twins out of here. And it's going to have to be out this way. And no, you're not eating toxic. But we'll clear the reeds away for some nesting material. Uh, Nicola. Hmm. Well, you've got actually a decent um, berry collecting here. So why don't you one, two, three, berry bush. And you can one, two, berry bush. And you can one, two, berry bush. This rain, these rainy days are very, very useful. Daniel, uh, let's see, do we have, we do have some nuts to crack. No, we're not getting that. That's a regular berry bush, excellent. All right, doing splendidly on food here. Boom. Lots of deaths. We lost three of them. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. But thankfully, a, uh, a pregnant uh, female that's about to expire will push out their baby uh, before they expire. So do we have the fang? We don't have fangs. Dang it. We don't even have fangs as a, uh, as a negative one. Ah, poop. Oh, well. Uh, anything else good here? Runner leg plus claw. That's okay. What do we have here? Another male. Of course, another male. 11 billion males here. With ram horns, of course. Medium ears. Big nose. Runner leg. Double runner. So it's a meh male. Alright, Shona's getting towards the end of her lifespan here. But I am determined to have her uh, uh, continue breeding as uh, much as possible. What's your, uh, all right. Uh, 
That's the bow. Alright, Bart has grown all the way up. Yeah, we just need a good alpha female here. There we go. Oop, and another nest all the way over here. Excellent. Daniel! Yeah, we're getting maximum returns from this uh, from this tree here. But these two nearby, they'll be picking up just about everything. Um, Rhesus! That's a really unfortunate name when pronounced like that. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, it's not bad. Double runner. You know what? Rayson. I'm afraid to say it, lest uh, YouTube's uh, auto flag decides that that's uh, that I'm saying naughty words. All right, Coulson. Well, you're gonna be more. You're gonna be more of a sacrificial lamb as well for these berry bushes. And we need another sacrificial up lamb up there. Rare. Double runner, big nose. Yeah, rare's not bad, but uh, we still need a we still need a better female. Nah, we'll gather nest material rather than completely waste the actions. And there's Mr. Derpface. Again, not bothering to kill him, but uh, not wanting him nearby. Let's clear away all of these. All right. Well, this has uh, this is we've made some good progress here. Um, we got one more one more thing here. Duke gear. Oh, the twins. The twins. Actually, the twins might be good candidates for sacrificial lambs here. Re Duke here being slightly more disposable. Um, actually, yeah, I think, my friend, you're going to be our poison berry sacrificial lamb. Um, but, hey, all in the name of evolution, right? It's better than earlier uh, versions of the game where, I, where unwanted ones I just forced to drown them. Um, rare. Yeah, swimming. I mean, yeah, they're really fast, but eh, you don't need that much speed. These runner legs, while not necessarily strictly bad, are not that great either. Yeah, harvest nest material. Okay, now we're all set. So, if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. And of course, uh, if you want your name in the game, check out my Patreon page down below uh, to get a um, at least one creature, probably more. There, we may have the second or the third for some of our creature, uh, some of our uh, members, depending on how long um, they stick around here. Um, so, if you want to adopt a creature and get your name in the rotation, go ahead and uh, check out my Patreon page for more info. So, until next time, Pinstar out.